Mersed Air Defense System can be considered as the first native Iranian system whose components have all been made domestically. It is the result of completing the improvement of the American Air Defense System MIM-23 Hawkeld in Iran. In all research, design, and production stages, the Mersed system uses the experience of imposed war and has been developed by experts from the Aerospace Industries Organization. The main components of this fully digitally designed system include search and target tracking radars, software and hardware networks, launch pads, and a control and command center. In general, the most important changes of this system compared to its American counterpart can be considered using digital electronics, advanced electronic components with solid-state technology in radars and missiles, improved algorithms in target detection and tracking, and fire control system in its construction. The radars of this system are called Kavash, Juya, and Hadi, which have been designed from American models, but with many changes, especially in using digital technologies. Kavash radar can track targets with a cross-sectional area of half a square meter at a distance of 150 kilometers and lock them on the radar at a distance of 80 kilometers, the maximum destruction power of which is estimated to be about the range of 45 kilometers. Geo-low altitude detector radar also plays a role in helping detect and track targets flying at low altitudes. Hadi radar is also responsible for locking the target and directing the missile towards it. In the Merced system, engaging two targets simultaneously using two Hadi radars has been established. This radar is also equipped with electro-optical tracking systems that maintain its optical lock function in severe electronic warfare. Merced 2 air defense system was introduced in the 2010s with updates and optimizations compared to its first generation and joined the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force. Through making complete changes to the control room of this system, Iran's Army Air Defense Specialists used new technologies and wrote special codes for different stages to build the system in complete secrecy and to effectively deal with the surrounding threats. The radar detection range of the Merced 2 air defense system was increased to 220 km. Shan and Shalamcha missiles are two examples of missiles developed for the Merced system. The images released from them show a complete change in these two missiles' design and construction stages compared to the American Hawk missile. The main changes are in guidance and navigation systems, most obviously using flat panel antennas, digital electronics, and solid-state components. Shamilcha missile was unveiled in 2011 as a more advanced version of the Shine missile. The missile weighs about 700 kilograms, is 5 meters long, 360 millimeters in diameter, and has a speed of about 3 Mach. The flight altitude for the collision of the Shalamcha missile with flight targets is estimated in the range of 60 to 18,000 meters, which will be achieved at a distance of 40 kilometers. The warhead of this missile weighs about 70 kilograms, which shows that, if it hits the target, it will destroy it. During the joint drill of Iran's air defense, which was held in the general area of Semnan in the area of 416,000 square kilometers under the title of Velayat Sky Defenders 98, the latest version of the Mersed missile system was tested under the name of Mersed 16. At the inauguration of the production line of the Mersed missile system on April 11, 2010, the then Minister of Defense of Iran, Ahmed Vahidi, announced that this medium-range air defense system could destroy modern aircraft at low and medium altitudes and was more powerful than similar defense systems such as the MIM-23 Hawk. Also, the Mersed system has high mobility, can deal with electronic warfare, and has the ability to network with other radar and defense systems. Among the differences between the Mersed 16 system and its previous generations, we can name the tactical or moving of all parts of the system by being installed on a truck, the use of new Iranian radars, Hafiz and Najmate 104, the use of a launcher or a box launcher, and the use of a new Shalamcha missile called Shalamcha 2.
Half his radar can detect and track 100 targets simultaneously in three dimensions, with a maximum range of about 250 kilometers. It has advanced and up-to-date electronic warfare methods that can detect and intercept various targets, such as cruise missiles and drones. The new Shalancha 2 missile was also fired during the drill. The range of this new missile has not been specified exactly, but it has been announced in the medium range. Because the new missile is launched from canister launchers, it will have higher mobility than the Shalancha and Shahin missiles. Merced and Merced 2 air defense systems, which have been in operation since the late 2000s and early 2010s, have been launched in numerous drills against low radar cross section targets, including small drones. The Merced air defense system was successfully tested at the Prophet Muhammad PBUH drill in January 2015 and destroyed the intended targets. The farthest target that the Merced system destroyed in this drill was targeted more than 30 kilometers away. In the joint air defense drill in the fall of 2018, half his radar was used for the Merced system. In this drill, the news of adding a new missile to the Merced system was announced. This missile, which is fired from a launcher with a capacity of up to three missiles, is very similar in appearance to the standard missile, which was built and operated in Iran, under the new names of Fajr and Marab, and by upgrading its capabilities. The name of this missile was later announced as Shalamcha II. On November 8, 2019, a foreign invading UAV was shot down by the Mursid air defense system in Bandar Mashar. This was just one of the successful tests of Mursid. Recently, the IRGC commander-in-chief Salami said that Iran seeks to develop its defense capabilities as much as it can, emphasizing the country has now acquired the capability of long-distance warfare. The IRGC commander-in-chief Major General Hossein Salami made the comments during a ceremony to unveil the latest domestically made military achievements on Friday. Regarding the Day-9 surface-to-air missile system, Gen. Salami said that it can confront cruise missiles, drones, helicopters, and manned aircraft that fly at high speed and at low altitude. He also said that the new missile system can hit and destroy targets in a range of 20 kilometers away and 10 kilometers high at any speed. At the end of his address to the ceremony, Gen. Salami pointed out that Iran seeks to develop its defense system as much as it can, saying our strategy and operational policy is to develop the defense territory at wide depths and at high altitudes. He further pointed out that Iran has not acquired the capability of long-distance warfare.